background. So unless you unless you have a question, you can just come back in and um there you go. Thank you guys. Okay, so if everybody can kind of see, is that better or do I need to keep it like this? Um this way? D down. Like that? Okay. Yes. And then we can see you putting it in the bowl. Okay. So here. Okay. Now I don't have a tuna with me today, but just imagine if you had put one can of tuna fish in your drain, you could use the one. I recommend that you use the one that's in water. Why? Because you're gonna get your fat from this avocado. So you don't need the one in oil. Okay. All okay. right. So let's see how this looks. That's the seed right there. Now, believe it or not, you can take that seed, put three toothpicks in it, and sit it in the water, and it'll start growing another avocado. That's how powerful that seed is. What you see in wow. there, that's it that's what? there, you can take that seed. I'm going I'm to pull it out of there. But say, for instance, say, for instance, I'm only making, I'm not that hungry. I'm just trying to get, get a go, a snack. What I would do is I would eat this half, and I would keep this, this, this half and put it in a bag, because when you don't eat all of the avocado, you want to leave the seed in there because it keeps the avocado fresh. If I were to keep this side, it would begin to spoil quicker. So if you're going to keep a part of your avocado, always keep that seed in there because the seed keeps it fresh. Okay? So there's a, there's a cut avocado. I'm going to take my spoon, big size spoon, and I'm going to scoop this out just like this. Oh, it's gone. I'm going to use this half too. Because I need the whole avocado. So it can re replenish my body. There's that seed. You wash that seed off, dry it off, and then you. Hold on. Then you wash that seed off, and you could put toothpicks around the perimeter of it, three of them to hang itself on the side and let it float in water, and it'll it'll begin to sprout up in about two weeks. Wow. Mm -hmm. So then, what would we do with it after that, Joanne, with the seed? After you would just you weeks? would just plant it like how Rasheen got her garden. I think they maybe started off as seedlings. Then you would plant it in soil and let it grow. Okay. Yeah, we can go over that. Well, I can do it one day. And so here's the other side that the seed was on. I'm just scooping it out now. And the, the, the more ripe that the avocado is, like if, it, if you can touch it and it's kind of soft, that's, that's what you want to do. Somebody's struggling to get on here, but I can't. I keep trying to let them on, but they're not able to get on there. All right, so now that's done. I'm just going to take my spoon, because that was really what I need my spoon for. And I'm going to mash this up. Gina didn't understand what, what I meant by this can become mayonnaise. Now, this can become mayonnaise for whatever you want. A uh, tuna sandwich, turkey sandwich. You know, you can just have it with onions and tomatoes or whatever you want to do. But the point of the matter is, it's nutritional and it's delicious. Now, people, when they see me making this, they're like, oh, no, that couldn't be good. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't. When I get done with this, I never have... I never have anything left over. So here's my fork. Because guess what I'm gonna do with that fork? I'm gonna mash up my eggs in there. This is gonna this avocado added with these eggs, it gives the eggs a light, fluffy. I don't I, I can't even describe the taste. And just put your salt and pepper in there, and now you have a really nutritious, all natural, because this is all natural. Marcellus just keep on. I don't know why I can't get him on here. Everything we did is all natural. Nothing in here that we just did is processed. And it's just good to have you a processed go-to meal, which is, this is one of mine. Um, okay, so here are my eggs. And he really wanted to see this, but I don't know what the problem is. Here are my eggs. Boil the eggs. Shouldn't take more than eight minutes to boil eggs. These are, these are uh, cage-free, hormone-free, steroid-free eggs I got from Farmer's Market. It, they cost about... Maybe four dollars for eighteen, but my thing is again, 
You just don't want to be eating no eggs and no, no uh, chickens that didn't have a lifespan. You want to make sure that you're eating stuff from, from if you're going to eat animal products, make sure the animal had a full, healthy life because you're eating that animal's soul and its spirit and all whatever went into its flesh. And if it was under distress and just had a nightmare, a, a, a depressive life, we, people wonder why everybody's depressed because, you know, we eat animals that were depressed. The animals, they didn't get a life. They were just tormented, tormented and, and raised to eat, to eat. They were, they were raised to die, which is horrible. It's just horrible. All right, so here's, look, watch what's happening. Watch. I'll mix all this up in here. And now my tuna would be in there. My tuna would be in here. Gina, you see how it's mixing up like, like a tuna fish would do? Yes, I see. He done missed the whole lecture. I don't know why he can't get on. But, um, so yeah, you'll just take your tuna fish and mix this up. I promise you. It is going to be good. Trey don't like it, but everybody else likes it. Trey say he still want real mayonnaise in his tuna fish. <laughs> Trey told me I messed up the tuna fish by putting uh, avocados in it instead of uh. But look at it, it's all creamy. Can y'all see it? Mm hmm Yeah, it looks good. But I just wanted to show you how that avocado, you see how it looked all hard and like it was un, unreasonable, how it went. Right. It's good, y'all. I'm telling you. It tastes like, it's so much creamier than um, mayonnaise. And then it has this, it, it has this lightness that kind of adds to the volume in the body. When you put the eggs with it, so so like say for instance, I wouldn't I wouldn't eat all this, or I didn't want to take it off. Then I just put it back in this cup with a lid on it. Now I like that I like this, but it's not just something I'm eating because I like it. It's a high protein dish, but it's not bad processed protein. Your can of tuna should have about 20 grams of protein in that can. The eggs have about six grams of protein per egg. So that right there is like 32 grams of protein. And that's pretty good for a meal like yes. this. Now the fat content in this is really high. But it's not the kind of fat that goes to your thighs and your hips. <laughs> it's the kind of fat that goes to your organs which we need. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to simplify it because I think a lot of people look at the avocado and like, oh my God, I just can't imagine that that can turn into mayonnaise. But it really can. And it, it doesn't have to be looked at mayonnaise. It can be looked at as a, uh, you can put garlic in it and season it up and use it as any kind of spread. Or put some vinegar and olive oil or whatever in it and then use it for a dressing. And you guys have heard of avocado dressing. Yeah. And if, if, if this isn't, like, my, this is smooth enough for me. This is smooth enough for me. I don't have to have mine smoother than that. If you just got to have some more smoothness to it, just add some olive oil to it. So we can't do that until uh, May, right? Since we're doing no oil this month? You can do this, but, I mean, if you want to. If you like for the olive oil. you're going to need any oil to it. Uh, to, but this right here is on your, you can eat eggs, tuna, and any vegetable or fruit. So you can do this, you can do this today. Oh, you mean like the dressing? I'm going to try it. You can do the olive, you can do the avocado dressing without oil in it. Just use your vinegar, your garlic, and your seasoning. Okay. Because I'm telling you, it's really, it's really, it, it has fat in it. It has a lot of fat. But it's really good fat. This is gonna be something new for me. I've never tried avocado before. Not even on a sandwich. Tree? Look, look at Rashid on her garden. Rashid just, Rashid be showing out. Rashid, you out in your garden? Let me see. I'm showing out for real. No, I told her that's a pharmacy. <laughs> 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 oh, those, those letters. Don't you know it's a pharmacy? 
<laughs> Where is it, Rashi? Joanne, them things that got bigger since um I planted grapes today. Man, you said it was leaves, right? You, you, you plant some, some grapes today? Grapes and some cucumber and some strawberries and some watermelons. And here go my lettuce. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. Rashid, no. Uh, like romaine to me. Have you eaten it? That is lettuce, y'all. I'm telling you. What kind of lettuce? <laughs> Look how pretty it is. What kind okay. of lettuce? That's not weed. That is not okay. weed. <laughs> what kind of lettuce? Is that, that's lettuce. What kind of lettuce? <laughs> yes, that is romaine lettuce. Okay. <laughs> look. Look right from the end right here. Uh-huh. Go down to the stem. Go down to the base. Jackie, yeah, I like you know what it's gonna look like. <laughs> well I buy it whole. I don't buy it chopped up from the store. I buy it in its original like Joanne said, it's close to it <laughs> it's its original form. A state. Yeah. That's not weed. <laughs> no. Okay. Well. <laughs> so yours, yours is a thicker texture in a um. Yours have a thick, thicker texture, Rasheen. Mine. It's organic. Oh. Cause you grew it yourself, right? Yeah, cause I grew it myself. It's bigger, thicker, stronger. It, it looks it's so shiny. I only water twice a week. That's all I do. With it. it looked like it's um thicker and, and um greener. It's greener too, right? Yeah, it's like longer than my arm. It's green, all right. Yeah, it's like real dark. It's like money green. And you know what? In the store, that romaine, that romaine, not that green, is it? That romaine is like that roll is like lime color. I never knew romaine was supposed to look like this. Yep. The tomatoes I grew myself, they it taste so much good. better than even the organic tomatoes in the store. They were just so rich yeah. and so red and so juicy and so sweet. And, and organic uh, organic string beans taste like sweet potatoes. Wow. Like the, food, the food is better when it's when it's organic. It, it just tastes better. You get it from a real farm, especially in South Carolina. I was telling Gina, about, I can't find them. Like, Gina, all those farmers around there in South Carolina got their own farm and their own gardens and stuff. That's the good food. It ain't, it ain't the, the chain stores you need to be getting the stuff from. It's the, the local farmer who put their own time and energy and effort into cultivating a harvest. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. Joanne, quick question. Um, I mentioned it earlier when I was t- talking to Rashid. I um, weighed myself when I was at the Johnsons um, last week. I haven't sent you the picture yet, but I went to the doctor's office and I weighed in, and I weighed it five pounds more than when I weighed in on at Saturday or that Friday. So I go with the, the the heaviest amount, and also another thing, I'm going to my doctors every week. I'm going for for therapy and treatment because I have um, upper and lower back um, and lower extremity issues. So um, I've taken the initiative to begin to weigh myself. Now that I'm going in every week, I'll be able to weigh myself. And also, I wanted to ask, should I should I go ahead and weigh myself every week? Um, I'm talking to Jackie, right? Yes. Correct. I'm going, in twice, I'm going in twice to three times a week. Re- research has shown people who weigh themselves daily have a stronger grasp on reality, number one, and two... <laughs> They are able to control their weight because they are aware of what they're weighing. And that's that's a daily weigh-in. That's a, when I get out the shower, 
before I go to bed. It's not a, people say, oh, that's obsession. No, it's not. You're not obsessed when you check your bank account. So if you know how much money is in your bank account, then in your savings account, <laughs> and how much your investments are doing, and, and they're not going to be here if you, 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 you should weigh in, not just at your doctor's office, but I advise everybody to try to weigh in every day. Because you had to put on your big girl panties and say, no matter what my weight is, it's mine. And I'm going to deal with it from a realistic perspective. And what, what happens with that daily weigh-in is you begin to see what causes your body to gain weight and what causes your body to lose weight. So if you ate pancakes and sausage or whatever, and then your body's like, oh, look, I got five pounds on from yesterday, something's not not really metabolizing in your body that well. Or if I, I was on fruits, vegetables, and I had tuna or whatever, and then I'm down three pounds, and it just gives you a more awareness of what's best for you. Because what I'm learning about African Americans okay. is all statistics don't apply to us because we're not in the statistical anal analysis. We're not in the research studies. We're not in the pilot programs. We're not, and, but yet we're buying into all these theories <laughs> and marketing strategies that aren't designed for us. So what I challenge women to do is to know yourself. So Jackie, not only is it good that you're doing that, what you're doing, because it's going to give you accountability and awareness, but I challenge you to not just get a scale, but to um, you know, get try to invest in a composition monitor because the pathway that you're going, which is fitness, may in fact you may gain a little weight first, and you may not lose like maybe some other people are doing because you're building what I call the fit girl first. And the fit girl has to come first. And what I mean by that, that doesn't mean, oh, I look at my body, my body's here now. Mm -mm. What's gonna happen is she's developing under the layers of fat. She has to develop under the layers. If she, she can't develop on top of the layers. She has to develop under the layers to push the layers off. So your fit girl is going to come in there. She's going to be more dense. She's going to be leaner. She's going to be more fit and more aggressive, and she's going to come in with a bigger metabolism. So she's going to come first. She's probably going to come before your fat girl leaves. It, and I tell people all the time, first the fat girl evicts the fit, the fit girl evicts the fat girl. So a lot of women don't like that. They want to just simply, I want to lose, I want to lose, I want to lose, I want to lose. I don't care. I want the scale to go down. And guess what? If I'm a money, if I'm about money, I'm going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you not to exercise. I'm going to tell you just lose the fat. Don't worry about building any lean muscle. Don't worry about your health. Quick weight loss programs, and that's exactly what they do. And people go into it because of this. That's why when I'm praying in the morning, I'm praying for our minds. Because we would rather be fatter and see the scale go down than to be fit and see the scale go up because of this. Look smaller, you have more energy, your clothes are looser, but you say, oh, look, I gained, gained weight. So I, this is not working for me. It's not true. So I highly advise you to keep down the pathway that you're going. All accountability is going to benefit you. The more you know about yourself, the more you know about your weight, the more you know about what works for you, what doesn't work for you, you're going to be successful in this thing. Now, I, I can't tell you it's going to happen instantly, which the world preaches, and I know Everybody but me is saying it should be faster, should be quicker. But when what I know with God, he's seldom early, but he's never late. He doesn't rush through processes and seasons and all that. He, he's just not like the world. Like I said, he's not Burger King. He's King King. So you're doing the right thing. Don't be intimidated by anything that's happening as far as your scale. Always look at, do I feel better? Do I have more mobility? Am I getting the help that I need? You just said you're going to you're going to the doctor to get that therapy. That is excellent. That is excellent because so many people neglect, neglect, neglect till they have no choice and they're at a point of no return because their bodies are just so far gone. So I, I highly recommend that you keep doing what you're doing, but I also give you an additional challenge, and that is to not just invest in a scale because a scale is only going to tell you the weight. A composition monitor is going to tell you how much of that weight is fat, how much of it is bone density, water, muscle weight, which you need to know if you're working out. Um, fitness, the fitness pathway is very different than the weight loss path, pathway, and you're on a fitness pathway. So I highly recommend that you keep doing what you're doing because it's going to give you accountability. But in addition to that, watch your energy level, watch your, you know, see if you're getting stronger, if your body's feeling better. That fit girl, I'm telling you, she, she it, you know, she goes in there. You may not see her, but she's getting there. She's in there, and she's coming. She's coming. She's <laughs> every day. She's she's getting stronger, and she's evicting that fat girl. She's pushing her out of your life. But you may not see her. Yeah. But she's there every time you work out. Every time you eat weight right. Every time you pray, pray to God to give you the strength that you can do all things through Christ. And every step that you take towards 
getting fit, that fit girl is in there. I'm telling you she's in there. I know she's in there because I put people on a composition monitor and I can see where their lean muscle has increased, the body fat has de decreased, and, and it's, it's almost like a balance and exchange going on. And in that balance of exchange, it looks like nothing's happening because you're losing body fat, but you're gaining lean muscle. And so your, your body's doing this. And you can see it and feel it. And you know something's happening. That's why I say faith and fitness are parallel universes. Um, it, faith is the same way. You may not see it's happening, but guess what? Your life is get, is doing this right here when you add that faith. Faith is some of the things you're hoping for. It's evidence of things you can't see. It's the same thing with that fit girl. You can't see her. <laughs> you don't see those abs. But as long as you're working and you, you're feeling that burn and you're getting those arms, you're like, oh, my God, my shoulders, and I'm pushing myself. You're getting it. You don't see her. But it takes faith to keep pushing. That's why I say we're about that faith and fitness life. It takes faith to keep getting up every morning and saying, you know what? I know I'm getting fitter. I know I'm pressing towards a place. This is not in vain. So does praying and believing in God. And sometimes it takes years for things to manifest themselves. And then every now and then God will do something suddenly. But I do challenge you to, you know, look for some good. I use Tanita, um, but I'm a professional, but I use Tanita body composition monitors because I want to be able to explain to you what's going on in this fitness process. Oh, and another thing that a composition monitor, it tells you your metabolic age. I have people that are 20-something years old, 90 years old metabolically. They start working out. They get down to, you know, they age reverses to the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, all the way back down to the teens. That's what a composition monitor will tell you, how many years you're adding to your life um, when you're exercising and eating right. So, yeah, you're doing the right thing. And like I said, I encourage you, this is your life. This is your body. Own it because nobody else can own it for you. It's a blessing to have it. And, and it is what it is. You can't be nobody but you because everybody else is taken. And I would own it because why not? You have to be it for the rest of your life. So, yeah, I, I highly recommend that. Now, people say, oh, I don't want to know how much I weigh. Well, why not? That's just crazy. It's crazy to me. I just, you know, I get discouraged when I want to scale. Why? <laughs> If the only way I'm going to get discouraged looking at my bank account, if I'm not working to make sure that that bank account looks the way it works. But if I'm working and I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, it should be, it should be looking the way. And it's the same thing with your body. And, and you may have gained that five pounds, but like I said, I don't know what that five pounds is. And like I told Gina, me and Gina had this conversation. When it comes to fitness, we don't know where that gain came from. We, we don't know if it was fat or if it was muscle. Because I don't have a composition monitor to evaluate that. Most doctors' offices don't either because they're not fitness professionals. They are doctors and they medicate and they, they deal and diagnose the issue. But with what I'm doing, I'm trying to make you a complete person. And doctors have told me, Joanna, you need to teach this. You need to teach this. You need to because I'm only here to diagnose. I'm practicing medicine. But God didn't say, oh, let's, let, let me just heal your finances. Let me just let me just give you a husband. Let me just give you no God wants a whole person. He wants you to be whole and complete. And we want to choose, like I said, we want to cherry pick God. And we want to cherry pick fitness. I just want to lose weight. I don't care how I get there. Okay. Okay. There's a consequence of that. God, I just want I just want me a, a, a nice building. I just I just want I just want more money. So if I pay my tithes and I go to church, just give me and God's like, but you got issues. You know, you got some stuff going on in your mind and your past. You got some unforgiveness. You got some bitterness. You got some pride issues. You got some you got some stuff going on. And I'm not going to bless no mess. That's what he told me. This was back when I, before I even left Orangeburg. But I was still married. But my, my husband was in South Carolina, in uh, Florida. And I was like, oh, wh why can't I just go forward? He's like, I'm not going to bless no mess. And that's not restricted to that situation. It's restricted to us all the way around. We're wondering, okay, God, why? 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 Well, because you want to cherry pick me and I'm not going to be cherry picked. Either, either you want me or you want this. I said before you life and death, blessings and cursing. Choose the life and the blessings. He wants it all. All of it. The kids, the husband, your body, your mind, your spirit, your devotion, your attention, your praise, your talents. Y'all are so talented. He wants all of y'all. And what all we want, and, and that's why last year I took a shift. I said, you know what? I'm not going to train nobody who just want to be fit. Because what's gonna, what they're going to do, even if they get fit, they're going to get messed up because they keep thinking it's about that. It's just not. I know some fit people that are messed up. They're messed up in their minds. They're messed up. They're psychotic. They're on drugs. They, they, they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's bigger than, than, than just, oh, let me lose weight. Let me just get fit. You know, let me get what I want. 
And that's cool. God will give you the, give you the desires of your heart. He'll, he'll provide the things. And like I said, I didn't miss anything in having Trey. I, I, even my ex-husband was a play for Tampa, but you know, I, I got everything that a professional athlete would have gotten from, from a level of fame to, you know, position and whatever it was that somebody would have gotten who didn't have a baby in college that was supposed to be such a issue. Um, I got it, but I had to seek God first. I had to, to sow into humility with him. I had to bow down and worship, you know, and I still bow down and worship God. There is nothing in this world that I want or need outside of God. There's just nothing, nothing, period. And and that's, that makes me very dangerous, very dangerous. And so as it is with you, God wants your whole life, your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Own it. Own it. You're a daughter of Zion. And you're a daughter of Mildred Jameson, the woman who I admire the most. Because it took courage Amen. for her to raise y'all the way that she did. So I know you just wanted to be you wasn't not the way in or not, but <laughs> it turned into so much more. He wants it all. But yeah, all y'all should weigh in every day. But I, I, every I, I day? Would yes. Yes. I, I because what happens with a woman's body, it goes through 28 day cycles. And if, if you know what's going on with you every day, you won't won't nothing bother you. Oh. Yeah. A woman's a, there there's unless she's on some type of supplement. Her body's not going to be like this. She goes like this. And um, when you look at the pictures and you see where people, and you, you got to watch it. Here's what you could do, too, just to give you another side of it. Google bodybuilding. Um, Google extreme bodybuilding and... Uh, weight training and stuff like that where you see those people that they're ripped up and they're standing there like yeah look at me one thing about me you can come and give me a test right now take no supplements at all i just don't because once you do that you have to start doing that and those people are only fit for their contest which is like whatever they, they're going to compete or uh, whatever hey good morning for whatever that segment is but if you catch them on an off season they look like everybody else me, however, I look like this year round because I'm not doing anything other than doing it in a natural way. I'm not drying my body out. I'm not taking all these supplements. And it's, it's ridiculous the amount of supplements that are out there that you can take to make yourself appear a certain way. And you may never wow. really fully understand until maybe a couple of decades down the damage that it did to your kidney, your liver, your lungs, and all kinds of stuff. And they have a supplement that they use on a day of competition called dry something dry out or or it's a name for it but the whole point of it is to dry out your body now why would you want to dry out your body that's made 90 percent water but if i dry myself out the muscle that's under here is going to look even more intense and and it's even more you know it, it's more attractive to your eyes so you'll check for me and say "Ooh, look at joanna um which is all vanity which is why i don't do it it's called expel is that what's called expel X P E L L X L. Yeah. But they use that. So when you're looking at the pictures, you're like, oh, I want to look like that. Oh, I want to look like her. I want to look like Beyonce. No, be you. Be be you and be better at being you. Every day you can get better. Every day you can get better. I'm just gonna be better at me. I'm gonna be better at me. Be better at me. I was I was I was that way. I looked that way that time, and you know I had that role, but that role is gone. I'm gonna tell you, I take my clients one role at a time. I just want to get one role. Off of just, 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 just take your time and own it, and don't sell it for anything. It should be like a family heirloom. I'm gonna own this, and I'm not gonna sell out for anything. You can't sell out. It's like faith. To, to me, like I say, when I say faith and fitness, I know people are like, oh yeah, she's just religious, da, 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 whatever it is. But it's not because they're they're so they're so even. Why would you sell out your body to, for a temporary fix? Well, I'm gonna look good today, or I'm gonna look good this year. No, buy it. <laughs> And sell it not. Same thing with your faith. Don't sell your faith out because somebody came along or a pastor didn't do what you wanted to do or somebody was a Christian let you down. God is who you're giving your 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 glory to. God is the one that you're putting faith and confidence in, not not in a system or things or what you have or don't have. Keep your faith in God and don't sell it. And when you as you walk down this pathway of fitness, don't sell it. 
I got married, so I just got distracted. You know, you'd be surprised how many people I hear say, oh, well, you know, no, no. You don't have the luxury to lose either of these two things, your faith or your fitness. Addresses change, titles change, careers change, friendship change, family members leave, die and go away or whatever. Faith and fitness are the anchors of your soul. They make you who you are and you are who is behind the title that you wear. Own it and don't sell it. Don't sell out. Are you going to get discouraged sometimes? Yes, but that's temporary. Do you want to give up sometimes? That's life. That ain't fitness or faith. People will make you want to give up on them. Things, jobs, people like, I don't want this job anymore. But yet when it comes to faith and fitness, we'll give up on those things quicker, even though they've done more for us than anything. But we, we'll put 30 years into a house, set five to seven years into a car, 30 years on a job. And as bad as the job treats us, as bad as the house break down and have issues, the roof cave in, all these issues, the car, tires, we just take it to the shop, get it fixed and keep it moving. Let God don't do what we want him to do. Or let fitness not lose the weight we want to weigh. It just don't work. I'm just going to stop. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. But we put all this time into bad relationships. And it's just, it's just neat. we need to grow up pretty much. I think at the end of the day, it's just about being mature and understanding that you can't cherry pick these things. Um, they're real and they're part of you and they make who you are. And they should remain, in you, remain with you, one, into eternity. And the fitness part, at least the rest of your life. There we go. I made mine with fruit this morning. Chanette. Chanette, are you blending yours or just shaking it? Uh-huh. Are you putting yours in a blender? I was blender? shaking it today. Because no, what I've known. I was shaking it today. Okay. What I've known about mine is when I put fruit in it, frozen fruit, and blend it, it lasts longer. It gives me more energy than when I just shake it. Okay. It does. So, I, Coco said, you said to get a, um, a ninja bullet. I have like a, um, it's a personal one that I got from Walmart. So, I wasn't sure the difference between that one. I'm sure the other one has more horsepower. Is there a nutritional difference between the one I have and the ninja bullet? Or um, Ninja has a bullet now? Uh-huh, it's a ninja, ninja, ninja bullet. It's called a ninja bullet. bullet. They have a ninja bullet RX. Okay, so, so they just have yeah. the cup. They have the one with just the cup. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Um. Yeah, they do. Is it fifteen hundred? Is it fifteen hundred watts? They have different levels. It's like one for six hundred watts, nine hundred watts, and fifteen hundred watts. Okay. The one with just the cup goes up to fifteen hundred watts. The one with just the yeah. cup. Yeah. They have um. Yeah, I think I think with the cup it goes up to 900 watts, but the one with the blender and the cup goes up to 1500 watts. That's the professional one. Those are the ones I use. And the reason I have that okay. is because it comes with two of these. And so I was telling Coco that because it's her and Richard, it comes with two cups. Well, no, it comes with one cup. Mm -hmm. It comes with one cup or two. Two cups. Two cups. Two cups like this with two of these. You see that that blender thing on top of there? Uh huh. So see, the reason I, I was blender. telling. Huh? I have a personal one, but it's not a blunt, it's not a ninja. Like I have one like yours, but it's not a, a ninja brand. So oh, I was wondering I if, if the brand made a difference. But that's yeah. I don't think so. I don't think like so that. because the, because if you're only making if you're only making a one cup serving for yourself, if your if your blades are like this, it should be fine. However, what I was telling Coco is that ninja, the blades and the ninja go all the way up through the blender. Even the Vitamix has a bottom okay. like this. The bottom, the blades in the Vitamix are like this, which means it has to pull the food down. The Ninja goes all the way up throughout the food, and it blends everything. Okay. Now, here's the difference between probably what you have and this. When I put this cup on my, on my Ninja, it's blasting whatever I put in there at 1,500 watts, which is even higher than the Vitamix. So it obliterates mm -hmm. everything that I put in there. So that's why I recommended okay. the cocoa. It's, it's going to cost her a little bit more, but she got two cups because her and Richard are on the same pathway. And then it's going to come with that power blender 
And if she wanted to make a picture of stuff for her, Richard and, and Darlene, she could do that in her house. And and so okay. I, I've done the research and I know the divider mix, but I don't need, I don't cook things like I don't want my stuff blended cooked. And so one of the things that the Vitamix has over this is that it does heat up for soups and stuff like that. But I don't make my soups like that. I really need the power in the blending of the vegetable because I really recommend that people blend the whole vegetable. And and I also I also blend a powder in these. That's how powerful that blade is. It 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 shreds everything, even something that's a whole grain to to a fine powder. So that's why I use okay. it. But for what you're doing, just your your sixty sexy, and you just want to blend your sixty sexy, you should be okay. Okay. This is good too. I just did the chocolate one. I I I, I usually blend it. But I'm I'm trying to learn how to do it. Like if I'm in the car, mm-hmm. I'm trying to learn to um be able to to drink it without being blended. Did you put your you put so, it in your cup? You put it in your cup? Uh huh. Yeah, red cup that no, I sent you. I take the little bags with me. Uh huh. You can just put yeah. it in that cup, right, and shake it up. The, yeah. the red cup that I sent you. Yeah, that's what I was using. The, the, the Rasheen got my default because she didn't never order the thirty. It's only for people to order 30. Default. Default. You know, I didn't yeah. get my default. I see you was not supposed to be. That's for people who make, like Shawnette and Coco, who make a make the step forward and get the 30 pack. You cherry, you cherry picking me <laughs> buying 14 at a time. <laughs> but Shawnette, yeah, Shawnette, like Shawnette on Saturday and Sunday. Hmm? What do you say, Rasheen? Yeah, but you you wasting time, you wasting energy, you wasting postage. You you just order your stuff and got your cup from the beginning. I, and then I wind up having to send the cup separately. <sighs> but you know, Shanette, I didn't know what you was talking about. Shanette, Shanette, y'all have spoiled uh-huh. Rasheen. Y'all have spoiled Rasheen. He been riding. Yeah, she is riding. I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the small one right there. Sign it. Oh, Sign it. Never. Okay. Sign it. Tell her what she told me today. Tell her what she told me today when I was leaving workout. Are you trying to tell me what to do? I told you was not my instructor. <laughs> Rasheen, 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 uh-huh. 
You're not there to bully me. I don't know what's going on with my cam, so I need to still figure that out. I said, you're not there to lord over your sisters or bully them around. You're just there to. <laughs> you know how the teacher I gets in my head child when they out of the class? Oh, Lord. You know how the teacher gets in the class and for about 15 minutes, and you got one student who just gonna stop and try to be the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> mm, they want to be the teacher. So I say he's gonna set the record straight. Hallelujah. Well yeah, go ahead. Join more. Yes. You and I have a conversation. Mm-hmm. And we had a conversation about and work out with my sister.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again about being so sensitive. You you talking about you ain't gonna say nothing else. I don't need you to be getting like that. I need you to like like not take that like that. I need you to be like, okay, well we're gonna just work through whatever it is we need to work through. You can't just be like, I ain't gonna say nothing else. Because well, that was okay. a joke. I was okay. joking. Okay. I don't need you to joke like that, okay? I need you to be on task. I need you to be the leader. <laughs> and I need you to be, and a leader doesn't mean I'm dictating. A leader means I'm coordinating. I, I'm just being accountable and bringing everybody in and bringing them together and, and keeping everybody motivated and focused. And you can do that. You can do it. I'm sure. I'm, I'm very, have great confidence in your ability to do that. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you for being confident in my abilities. But you can't be hot on that jacket. Well, sugar, with well, sugar, we all are. <laughs> We just stayed in the obvious. We just stayed in the standing out a little stronger. Rashi, you can't be hollering. You can't be hollering and, and acting like that. Joanne. Your Joanne. Your hmm? The music was loud. You, uh -huh. I have four people on there trying to be in charge of four people. I wasn't sure who could hear me. I was not yelling or being in an amused spirit. It was like trying to, it was like a lot of things were competing, and I just wanted to make sure that nobody was left behind. Okay. And a lot of times when we're working out, we're not aware of our surroundings. We're just worrying about us. And so that was one of my, my things today was to make sure, you know, I was still doing my workout, but then trying to look at everybody else's workout, that was difficult. So I didn't, I didn't stop. But I did want to make sure I checked on her and Coco when they were when I could not see them or see their efforts. Okay. Well, well when you when you reach out and and then they just kind of say whatever, it's okay. You know what I mean? Just kind of shake it off and keep moving. Okay. <laughs> you know, Shawnette, blah blah blah. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, Shawnette, my bad. Okay, y'all, five more, <laughs> three, <laughs> two. One. That's what leaders do. <laughs> because as long as she responds well, she bad, like what, what she really mean is I'm doing the best I can. I'm I'm I'm, I'm in, engaged and I'm okay. Because they're just thirty. They get a grace month. Remember, I gave y'all a grace month already. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Rashi, Rashi don't feel like she got a grace month. <laughs> Oh, I, I, you know, I got my dog on talk in two weeks, week number one or two. But Rasheen, that's because you know better. <laughs> like, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, y'all, did y'all have, <clears throat> have any more questions? I have to um, head to Stone Mountain. It's going to take me about 30 minutes to get there. Is it, um, okay, last question. Um, no, last question. I need to um, ask about coconut oil. Mm -hmm. um, I know we, we it's no oil this month, but I bought some. You know, was was sure wasn't sure of how much to use or not to use. Or did you buy it to cook with it? I just heard that it was good to have. I mean, I just bought it. If I don't need it, I'll just take it back. That's the same thing. That's a good question. I wanted to ask the same thing, too, because I bought some from Whole Foods mm -hmm. um, a few months back. I haven't used it yet because I'm not sure how to use it. Right. So what you it, could, it could be used as a moisturizer for the skin, but I'm worried about cooking. Because you, you can use it for your skin. You can use it for your hair. 
But the cooking part, I, I don't have that down pat. Well, you, from what I know about cocoa, co coconut oil, um, as with olive oil, is that because they're mono, um, they will burn very quickly. So you can low, you can you can use them in low moderation or to, you know, add um, you know, a certain consistency to beans. You know, this did you want to eat? A lot of uh, eight, uh, Jamaicans and people like that could put it in their red beans to add that milkiness and give it that, um, you know, that that taste that it want from coconut oil. But it, as far as I've always known, it's a bit more of a sauté, a low low heat sauté oil. Because if you heat it too quickly, it'll burn. But it's really good for you. But I don't know if it, if the oil is as good for you as the milk and the water. And I've done some okay. coconut and um the water is very powerful as well as the milk. All right, well, I'll take my mom back to get some milk. Um but I mean you don't you don't have to take it back. What you could do is you could just, you know, Google how you can use it in the different ways you can use it because I'm I'm sure that you can put it in in, in different things. I, I just haven't known a lot of people to use the oil. Um, but they do have the oil. Most of them use the oil for outside. I use it. Um, what's the best um coconut milk, coconut water? Um, any particular brand to look for? Um, are you uh? Are you um? You at a farmer's market where you can get the whole coconut? Um, no, I'm not near farmer's market. The closest uh, would probably be Charleston, and that's a 35, 40, something drive away. Yes, okay. Well, well, any, anyhow, you can get, um, you know, like the whole coconut, that would be great. And then, um... Then if you could, then any other, any other coconut is not, not necessarily to brand, but anyone that says 100% coconut milk or 100% coconut water, those should be uh, equally as good. And when you look on the ingredients label, it should say coconut water. <laughs> like if the ingredients is a coconut water or coconut milk. That's going to be pretty good for you too. Is that cool? Okay. All right, so thank you. We know you got to so, we'll, um, so next week I won't be able to be on because we'll have our air climb. Um, but if you guys want to do a Q and A on you know afternoon or Sunday, let me know. I'll I'll schedule one. But otherwise, we'll be spending the most part of uh, next Saturday morning at the fight for air climb downtown Atlanta. Okay. 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 All right, Joe. Love you. Yeah. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you. You're doing great. Too. Love you. You're doing great. Just so you know, you're doing great. Keep up the good work. Keep moving forward, forward, forward. Doing the right thing. Taking care of yourself. And remember, you are the most valuable asset that you possess. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>